Welcome to several examples of simplifying quotients with negative exponents where the bases are not the same. So looking at our examples here, notice how, again, the bases are not the same and therefore we will not be applying the quotient rule of exponents given here. Where a to the m divided by a to the n equals a to the power of m minus n. Again, we cannot use this rule in these quotients because the bases are not the same. But the quotients are not going to be considered simplified if they contain negative exponents. Which means we'll be applying these two rules to simplify these quotients. Where one divided by a to the power of negative m equals a to the power of positive m. One way to think of this rule is if we write a to the power of m in fraction form, we can put this over one and so by moving this exponential across the fraction bar, or in this case up to the numerator, it changes the sign of the exponent. And therefore it follows that a to the power of negative n divided by b to the power of negative m, again notice how the bases are not the same, but if we move a to the power of negative n down to the denominator, or across the fraction bar, and we move b to the power of negative m up to the numerator, it changes the sign of the exponent. This is equal to b to the power of m divided by a to the power of n. So looking at our first example, notice the bases are not the same, so we could not subtract the exponents, but we can move three to the power of negative two down to the denominator to change the sign of the exponent, and we can also move two to the power of negative three up to the numerator to change the sign of the exponent. So this would be equal to two to the power of positive three in the numerator divided by three to the power of positive two. And now we can go and evaluate this. Two to the third would be two times two times two or eight. And three squared or three to the second power is equal to three times three or nine. So this quotient simplifies to eight ninths. Now looking at the next example, notice how we have five to the second power in the numerator. and the denominator we have two to the power of negative three. The five to the second power is going to stay where it is because it has a positive exponent. So here, we will move two to the power of negative three up to the numerator to change the sign of the exponent. So our denominator is now going to be one. The numerator is going to be, we still have five to the second, times two to the power of positive three. So we don't need the denominator of one, and five to the second power is five times five or twenty-five and two to the third power is two times two times two or eight. So this simplifies to twenty-five times eight, which is equal to two hundred. Next we have three to the power of negative one divided by four squared. Notice how the denominator has a positive exponent, so that'll stay where it is. We'll move three to the power of negative one down to the denominator, again to change the sign of the exponent. So now the numerator is going to be one, and our new denominator is going to be four to the second times three to the first. Well, four to the second or four squared is equal to sixteen. This is sixteen times three to the first is three, so this simplifies to one forty-eighth. And for our last example, we have three to the third divided by one to the power of negative two. Again, the three to the third is okay where it is because it has a positive exponent. So we'll move one to the power of negative two up to the numerator to change the sign of the exponent. So we'd have three to the third times, if we move this up it would be one to the second power. Our denominator is now one, which is not needed. So we have three to the third, which is three times three times three or twenty-seven. And one squared is equal to one times one or one. So this quotient simplifies nicely to twenty-seven. So just remember, if we're dividing and the bases are not the same, we cannot apply this quotient rule here that says we subtract the exponents. Our goal is to make the exponents positive using these two rules and then simplifying as much as possible. I hope you found this helpful.